Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I'm coming to you with wet hair to share six reasons why your curls with the Dyson Airwrap will not hold. So I have been using the Airwrap for a little bit over a year now and I know the number one complaint that I always hear from people is that their curls will not hold with this tool. But I've got some tricks that are gonna help you out a lot, especially if you just got this product and are struggling to make it work for you. So before returning it, try these tips. Let me know if they make a difference. I do have a full video reviewing the air wrap and sharing a tutorial with multiple attachments. I posted that like a year ago, but I'll leave it linked down below. It's all still very relevant and helpful if you have questions about the tool. And today I'm gonna give you the best tips to make your curls last. So if you are new here, my name is Kelly. Here on this channel, I love talking about mostly makeup, but just cruelty-free beauty in general. So if you're into any of that type of content, be sure to subscribe and let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay, so starting off, my hair right now is actually pretty wet, which is going to be problem number one. If your hair is too wet, you're gonna run into some problems. Not only are you gonna struggle to actually even pick up the hair on the wand, but I find that they don't last as long. The first time that I ever curled my hair with this, I went from hair like right out of the shower, I barely let it dry at all, and I tried to blow dry it, and the curls will kind of form, and it'll almost feel like the hair is dry, but if there's still a little bit of moisture in the curls, as they dry, it's gonna fall down and the curls will not stay. Like the first time I used it, they fell immediately because the strands of hair still had moisture in them. So where I'm at right now, I would actually say is still like a little bit too wet. I've mostly let my hair air dry, but now I'm gonna go in with some of the other attachments to start to rough dry the hair. So as you were seeing, I focus a lot at the root because when you're using these, Sometimes it's harder to really get that airflow to the root. So if that part is still wet, the curls aren't going to last. Also, the ends of the hair tend to hold the most moisture just because gravity pulls that water down. So you can either do that with this or this, but I would say if your curls naturally don't want to stay, I would avoid using this because this is going to give you more of a straight effect. Okay, so that's definitely better. There is still a little bit of moisture in my hair, but it's not like soaked. It's definitely not dripping. I would say you want it to be at least 75% dry. That's when I personally get the best results, but you can also use this tool on completely dry hair. Okay, another reason, and this is a big one, is that you're not using any product. So I think a lot of people, when they go to use the Air App, typically will use a heat protectant and then when they're done use a hairspray and i do think that's a great place to start but the product that i find i get the biggest difference with is mousse i even use mousse sometimes when i'm just curling my hair with regular hot tools and not the air wrap but i like to take this this is from amika it's the plus size perfect body mousse and work this through the hair like i said i sometimes even use this on my dry hair when i'm styling it with other irons or other hot tools because it's gonna help your hair remember and retain that shape. So I always make sure I go through and brush it with a wide tooth comb so I can distribute it evenly. And depending on your hair type and texture, you might wanna use a different type of mousse, whether that be a lighter hold or a stronger hold. But personally, my hair, it's naturally pretty much straight and the strands of hair are quite fine. So my hair never wants to hold a curl. So the mousse makes a really big difference. And with this, while I continue to comb out my hair, I wanna share another reason your curls might be falling and it's kind of the opposite of this. And that is that you are using too many products slash too heavy of products. So again, this one's really gonna come down to your hair type. Everyone has different products that are gonna be optimal for them. And I recently was invited T3, which is ironic, I'm like talking about the era, but this was an event with T3. They also make hot tools and they have like a similar blow dry brush, not with the same attachments, but a blow dry brush. And at this virtual event, Josh Liu was the special guest. And if you don't know, he's the hairstylist that does Ariana Grande's hair. And he mentioned one big tip for a lot of people, if your curls fall, Oftentimes, if you have really fine hair, it's because you're using way too heavy of products. So some people with curlier hair types, with much tighter curls, with much thicker hair, might have better results with more like a cream or heavier products like that. Whereas if your hair is like mine, that might be what's weighing your curls down and preventing them from being able to stay. And you might wanna swap that out for something a little bit more lightweight. So that tip, similar to the mousse tip, works even when you're not using the air wrap that's applicable for any styling you're doing on your hair 
Okay, now we're gonna style it and I'm gonna share the next reason. The next reason is that you're using the wrong barrels. So as you know, in the Airwrap Complete, you have two barrel sizes, a larger barrel and a smaller barrel. And I'll tell you, I like the look of my curls better when I use the larger barrel, but they don't last. And if you are running into that, switch to the smaller barrel. A good rule of thumb that I like to think of, whatever effect you want with the curls, size down. So if you like the look that the larger barrel gives you immediately after styling, size down to the smaller barrel because after a few hours, those curls are gonna fall and they're gonna look the same. But even if the smaller barrel's not working for you, they have other attachments. So I have the barrel size that's even smaller. This is the 0.8 and it's also the longer length. So this is another good option if you have longer hair and your hair falls off the barrels. They do make a longer length one. Here are all three sizes side by side. I like my results best with this. I'm actually gonna tell you right now, if you are considering buying this, I actually don't recommend it. For some reason, with this longer one that's thinner, my hair has to be like completely dry for it to pick up on this, like barely any moisture. But I will show you the curls with both just so you can get a little bit of an idea. My settings when I use this are fully up on fan speed and the hottest heat speed. Even the hottest heat is not that hot, so don't worry about that. But the button I want you to pay very close attention to is this one right here. This is the on off button but it also has the cool shot and that is the next tip always do the cool shot on your hair so when you go halfway I'll turn that off so you can hear me when you go halfway that's the typical setting that's going to heat up the air wrap but then when you push that up to the top that's when you get that's when you get the cool blast so that shoots out colder air and that's what's going to lock your curl in so I always do 10 to 12 seconds on heat and then at least 10 seconds on the cool blast before releasing the curl. Now I'm putting it on the cool blast. And then go ahead and release. And this is the next tip. Do not remove it from this shape or like don't try to reshape it. It should look like a cone. Like this is exactly what you want. Don't go in and start reshaping it. I know this looks like Shirley Temple, but just resist the urge. Also, you might have noticed me twisting this. I talk about that in my other Dyson video that I'm gonna leave linked down below, but that's my best tip if you have long hair and it falls off the barrel, twist it up. Also for reference, if anyone wanted to try the longer, thinner barrel, let me just show you on camera the difference in curl. First of all, you can see the ends like do not pick up as well on this one for some reason. Okay, so. Here are the two curls. This is the medium sized barrel and this is the smaller barrel. You can see the smaller one is a little bit tighter, but I always recommend using that cool shot. And another hack that you can do is pin the curl. So while it's still hot, take it, take a bobby pin or some type of clip and pin it to your head. Let it fully cool down pinned and those curls will not go anywhere. Like you guys, I used to do pageants. Let me tell you, those curls will not leave pin them. If it comes down to it, that is like the best option. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do the rest of my head and then I'll give you guys the last tip. Okay, and I'm back with the whole head style. I also, I like to put just like a little roller in for my bangs, just for that. And the last tip is that you just need to let this sit in this shape as long as possible. Like I will finish styling and leave this for like a good 20 minutes, go do my makeup or something before combing them out. And I'll either comb them out with my hands or a wide tooth comb. Definitely don't use like a brush with a lot of bristles. Honestly, if you just kind of like run through them with your hands, that is perfect. Maybe like flip your head over and back. Okay, I mean, look how big these curls are. And if all else fails, this is the best hairspray in the world. Like, let me put you onto this. This is the Kenra Volume Spray, the Super Hold. This says 25 on it, not the medium hold one. That one's not that great, but the Super Hold, like, your curls will not go anywhere. They claim it has a 120 hour hold. So I just spray like a little bit of this into my hair. You really don't need much. Okay, here they are after like really brushing them out. These curls are not going anywhere, but while I'm here, I have one more tip for you guys. I was only planning to do six in this video, but I keep thinking of more. This tip is to get them to stay overnight because these curls should last you for a few days. So sleeping on your curls is always difficult. So this tip will work whether you've done them with the air wrap or anything else. You have to try this. I like to take my hair 
split it into these two sections and then kind of twist the strands backwards very loosely. Don't do this tight or it'll start to give like little kinks in the hair, but just very loosely twist it and then bring that back. Take a claw clip and clip it in place and then sleep like this. I like to do this when I'm sleeping or I have done this and like made it look a little bit cuter, kind of like an updo and worn this when I'm on my way to dinner or something, especially if it's a windy day and you're like, okay, I'm not gonna let the weather ruin these curls. Do this and then once you get to your destination, take your hair down and they'll be perfectly intact. So that's another great tip to extend these curls for a few days. Sleep on it like that and that's gonna help kind of encourage that shape to remain in your hair. Like, I mean, look, I'm even brushing through these. They're still staying. Like, definitely try these tips. I really hope that this video was helpful and be sure to subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.